Good evening and welcome to Staff Gymnasium on the campus of Brockton High School in the City of Champions for this Brockton Community Access Sports presentation of Brockton Lady Boxers Basketball. My name is Peter Zimbro. I'll have the call of tonight's action as the Lady Boxers begin their 2011 to 2012 season as they host the Sandwich Blue Knights also making their debut this year. This will be the first season officially under the tutelage for the Brockton Lady Boxers. For head coach April Dingwell, April Dingwell, of course, a longtime JV coach for the Lady Boxers. She also filled in as the head coach for the Varsity Squad two years ago when then head coach Eric DiBiase was out with a leg injury. However, this will be her first official season as the head coach for the Varsity Squad. Game begins. Brockton wins the tip underneath, laying it up. No good is the Lady Boxers. They get the rebound, however. Starting five for Brockton. Guards number 23, Chantel Jordan, and number 34, Alicia Rosario. The two forwards, number 11, Chanel Melton, and number 33, Christian McDuffie. And at center, number 24, Diana Abraham. For the Sandwich Blue Knights, who have the ball right now, starting five, two guards, number three, Aaron Gendrew. Number 20, Julia Sullivan. The two forwards, number 14, Megan Harden, and number five, Kylie Dolan. And at center, number 24, Alyssa Buttrick. Head coach for the Sandwich Blue Knights is Chris Gendrew. Blue Knights coming off a playoff bound season last year. They finished at 510 and 10 and lost in the opening round of the playoffs to Situate. We're almost one minute into this game. Still no score between Brockton and Sandwich. And we have a traveling call that is on number 11 for Brockton, Chanel Melt. And that turns the ball over to Sandwich. Was reminiscing with my colleague Nubi Rateau earlier on, who is a frequent color commentator of mine, that the best sporting event we have ever called for pure excitement we're in agreement on was in Sandwich, Massachusetts. It was a Division Three girls playoff basketball game last year between, or it was a men's basketball game, as Brockton scores. That is Chanel Melton down low for two. But it was Cardinal Spellman taking on Martha's Vineyard last year in a playoff game. Triple overtime. Cardinal Spellman had a significant lead at halftime. Martha's Vineyard came back to tie it and force it into one overtime and ended up going three overtimes. Most exciting sporting event we've ever called as that is going to be number 34 for Brockton taking it to the hole. Alicia Rosario and our officials are going to call a foul. I think if there's one thing we can take out of that call tonight is that these officials are going to be calling fouls. Didn't see much contact there myself. And if there was, it was light contact at best. That's probably what it was, but they call it nevertheless. As Rosario goes to the line to shoot two, she misses her first of two. Brockton has a 2 to nothing lead with 6 minutes and 21 seconds remaining here in the opening quarter. Four 8-minute quarters played and Massachusetts High School women's basketball. Rosario with her second attempt at the free throw line, and she will go 0 for 2 at this trip to the free throw line sandwich with the ball that's Aaron Gendrew, the guard. And she almost loses it and ultimately does. Excellent defense by Brockton, but it looks like we're going to have a call. And that is going to be on sandwich number three, Aaron Gendro, after Brockton made the steal. Gendro trying to get the ball back, made contact with the Brockton player. And that is the second team foul for sandwich early on in this game. Brockton still with no team fouls. Brockton moving the ball around the perimeter. That is number 34 with the ball. Alicia Rosario gets it over to Chanel Melton. Excuse me, that was Chantel Jordan. And Jordan to Chantel Melton down low. And Melton puts it off the glass and in. 4 nothing. Brockton. All four of the boxes points come in courtesy of Chanel Melton. 5.50 to go here in the opening quarter.
And six points on the evening for Chanel Melton. 6 nothing. Brockton with the lead. 5-10 left to go in the opening quarter. We're going to see some substitutions momentarily on the part of the Sandwich Blue Knights. And we are going to have, I believe, a moving pick call to number 24 for Sandwich. Alyssa Buttrick. And we will see some substitutions for Sandwich as number 11 and 21 checks in the game. Leah Adams and Jamie Richards, respectively, as number 5, Kylie Dolan, and number 20, Julia Sullivan, check out. 5.02 left to go in the opening quarter. Brockton with the lead, 6-0. Leah Adams with the ball. And good defense being played by Chanel Melton. Says, get out of here with that. Chanel Melton getting done all over the floor tonight offensively and defensively thus far. Ball goes out of bounds. That'll be Brockton Ball. Court press exhibited by the Sandwich Blue Knights. Brockton equally breaks that. And down low, all alone, is number 23. That was Chantel Jordan. She laid it up. No good. And now Sandwich coming down the opposite end of the court, looking to get on the board for the first time. And they just can't do it. Brockton with the rebound. Number 11. Chanel Melton with the ball for Brockton. Gets it over to number 33 with a three that was Christian McDuffie. No good. Rebounded by the Blue Knights. Rosario for three. Connects off the backboard and in. Alicia Rosario becomes the first person named, not named Chanel Melton to score in this game. Brockton leads nine to nothing. Sandwich will get on the board, however, as Aaron Gendrew lays it up and in. 9-2 is your score. 3-37 left to go in the opening quarter. Brockton certainly in command and easily breaking this full court press. And it looks like number 30 for Brockton is going to be fouled, that being Aaliyah Brito. And she is going to head to the line where she will be shooting too. And that was on at number three, Aaron Gendrew, with that foul. So Brockton goes to the line, and Brito's first attempt, no good. Brockton 0 for 3 at the free throw line tonight. That's the one negative thing you can say about this Lady Boxers team so far, as they have a 9-2 to lead with 3 minutes and 31 seconds left to go in the first quarter. And make that 0 for 4 as Brockton and Sandwich gets tied up for it on the floor on the rebound. Jump ball situation is called. Possession arrow points in favor of the Blue Knights. Aaron Gendro bring the ball up for Sandwich. Yep, yep, Goes to lay it up. No good. Chanel Melton with the rebound for Brockton. And she gets it over to number 12 off the glass. No good. That was number 12, Sharon Springsteed. And Sandwich comes up with the basketball. Aaron Gendro, the guard with the ball handling duties right now for the Blue Knights. Stops. In the paint, she gets it over to number 24, Alyssa Buttrick. Puts it up. No good. Brockton with the rebound. Christian McDuffie now with the ball. She gets it over to number 12, Sharon Springsteed. Springsteed cross court pass to Melton. Melton up and in. Melton, eight points on the evening. Brockton up 11 to 2. Two minutes and 41 seconds left to go in the first quarter. Aaron Gendro, she'll try for three for the Sandwich Blue Knights. It seemed like a desperation three. Air ball, and that is going to go out of bounds and turn the ball over to Brockton. As we see number four, Julia Goins check into the game for Sandwich. And number three, Aaron Gendro steps out for a breather. Gendro with the lone two points for the Sandwich Blue Knights in this game. And nice hustle exhibited by Brockton. That was number 33, Christian McDuffie. Hustling for the ball on the inbound, but as it goes out of bound, out of bounds, it'll be an inbound once again for the Blue Knights. Julia Goins with the ball 
inside, gets it over to number 24, Alyssa Buttrick, back out to Goins. And it looks like Sandwich is going to try another three. No good. This time they get the rebound down low. Can they put it back up and in? They're going to take it back outside. It's number 14, Megan Harden. Harden, perhaps in some trouble. Inside the paint, puts it up. No good. Brockton with the rebound. Brockton doing a good job getting these rebounds down low tonight. Number 10 with the ball right now for Brockton, Carissa Pagan. Pagan gets it over to Sharon Springsteed. Springsteed over to number 33, Christian McDuffie. McDuffie to Melton as they work the ball around the perimeter. Pagan looking for help. Very relaxed, gets it over to Melton. Pagan from the outside, no good. Rebounded by Sandwich, that is number 21, Sidney Miller. And laying it up and in for Sandwich is Megan Harden. So 11 to four now, you score Brockton on top, a buck 30 left to go. Melton driving through lots of traffic, just hands it off to her teammate number 30. Aaliyah Brito puts it off the glass, no good, rebounded by Sandwich. And we have a call down low, let's see what this is all about. That is gonna be on number 12 for Brockton, that would be Sharon Springsteed. And we're gonna see number 11, Leah Adams, head to the free throw line for Sandwich shooting two. Good opportunity for the Blue Knights to get some free points, and Leah Adams connects, making her first of two, making it an 11 to five game with a minute 15 left to go. Aaron Gentrus checks back into the game along with Kylie Dolan for Sandwich as number 14, Megan Harden, and number 24, Alyssa Buttrick take a breather for the Blue Knights. Adams will go one for two at the line, 11-5. The score remains Brockton on top, a buck 13. Ball goes out of bounds. I didn't see which way the possession arrow pointed in this one. Who is going to inbound the ball? It is going to be Sandwich Blue Knights basketball. Springsteed with a three-point attempt for Brockton, no good. Pagan with the rebound, puts it up, no good. Another rebound by Brockton, this time number 44 for Brockton. And she is not on the roster. Aaron Gendro with a good defensive play for Sandwich. Ball goes out of bounds. It was off Gendro. Brockton will have the ball. And they'll inbound it to number 23, Chantel Jordan. And we have a jump ball call. Those two players get tied up for the basketball. Boxers will have the ball. Catherine Lewis with the ball, loses the ball. Twenty-four point six seconds remain in the first quarter. Brockton on top, eleven to five. And a foul is called on number 21 for Sandwich, Sidney Miller. Five team fouls for Sandwich, just two for Brockton. Less than 20 seconds go in the opening quarter. Shot clock and game clock is the same at this point. And we're going to have a travel called on number 34, Alicia Rosario. So Sandwich will get the ball with 8.7 seconds remaining in the first quarter. Goins with the ball, 
And we're gonna have a foul called down low. All right, now we're gonna have a, not gonna have a foul down low. I believe Sandwich stepped out of bounds. Brockton ball, 4.5 seconds to go. Rosario with the ball for Brockton. And she'll launch it up. The buzzer sounds, and as the first quarter comes to a conclusion, Brockton has an 11-5 lead over the Sandwich Blue Knights in the opening game of the 2011-2012 season here at Staff Gymnasium on the campus of Brockton High School in the City of Champions. You're watching Lady Boxers Basketball on BCA Sports. My name is Peter Zimbor calling the action of tonight's game. So far, the story in this game for Brockton scoring-wise has been Chanel Melton. Brockton has 11 points on the scoreboard. Eight of those 11 points scored by Chanel Melton. She has also played fantastic from a defensive standpoint. And that 11-5 score reads well for Brockton, not only because they're winning, but because they have brand new scoreboards here at Staff Gymnasium that look very fresh. Not only do they have three new scoreboards for the fans in attendance to see, but they have two new shot clocks on each side of the floor for the players to be aware of how much time they have to get a shot off on the floor. And unlike the old shot clocks, these shot clocks also have a timer on top of them to let the players know how much time is left on the game clock. So they don't always have to be looking at two scoreboards to be aware of how much time they have to do what they need to do. So 11 to 5 is your score. Brockton on top as we begin the second quarter. Aaron Gendro with the ball for Sandwich as the Blue Knights inbound the basketball. Gets it out to number 21, Sydney Miller. Over to number 14, Megan Harden. Harden tries to drag it in on her own. Off the glass and in. Nice job by Megan Harden. She has four of the seven points for the Blue Knights. Brockton easily penetrating the Blue Knights defense. And number 23 for Brockton takes a little bit of a spill. And that is going to be a foul called a number 14, Megan Harden, for the Sandwich Blue Knights. And we're going to see Chantel Jordan, number 23 for Brockton, make her first trip to the free throw line tonight, where Brockton has struggled 0 for 4 at the charity stripe so far. And Chantel Jordan with Brockton's first made free throw attempt of the night. 12-7 Brockton on top, seven minutes and 30 seconds to go in the first quarter. Good job by Chanel Melton of keeping hold of the basketball after nearly losing it. Brockton with a shot, no good. Sandwich with the rebound. Harden for three, no good right into the hands of Chanel Melton. Melton stops, pops, and I think that Megan Harden may have had a hand on the basketball that goes out of bounds. Uh, perhaps she didn't. It's going to go out of bounds off Brockton, and Sandwich will have the ball. Cross, long pass, and Brockton is going to easily intercept it. And traveling is going to be called on Christian McDuffie for the Lady Boxers.
Chantel Jordan with the ball from Brockton over to number 34, Alicia Rosario. Cross court to Chanel Melton. Melton over to number 33, McDuffie. And Brockton continuing to work the ball to all areas of the court. Melton stops, shoots, no good. And that is going to be rebound by Megan Harden for Sandwich. Gets it over to Aaron Gendro. And she is going to be fouled down low by a Brockton player. She'll be heading to the free throw line to shoot two. That is going to be on, I believe, number 34, Alicia Rosario. We'll see exactly who they call it on. I think it might have been Diana Abraham, actually. Nope, it was Rosario. And Alyssa Buttrick with two points. So... What was a solid lead for Brockton has now become just a three-point lead. Brockton on top, 12 to 9, 5 minutes and 36 seconds to go. And now it's a one-point game as number three, Aaron Gendro, lays it up and in. And with it becoming a one-point game so suddenly... Brockton is going to have to regroup momentarily as number 21... For Sandwich takes a breather. Sydney Miller, number 11, Leah Adams checks back into the game. Well, we will have a one-on-one -on -one situation for Brockton as seven team fouls on the Sandwich Blue Knights and Chanel Melton heads to the free throw line. And she misses her first and what will be her only attempt. Sandwich with the ball. Sandwich with an opportunity to take the lead here as they have rebounded quite nicely here in the second quarter after a very lackluster opening quarter. Megan Harden at the line for Sandwich. And she connects as there was a foul called on number 24, Diana Abraham. Abraham takes a breather for Brockton as number 21, Dominique Coley, checks into the game. I like Dominique Coley's hair, I must say. Very stylish. Megan Harden, two for two at the line for Sandwich. And like that, the Blue Knights have a one-point edge on Brockton, 13 to 12. Brockton has only scored one point here in the second quarter. That one point coming from a free throw shot, I believe, from Chantel Jordan. Melton with the ball for Brockton. She's going to stop, shoot, no good. And that is going to go out of bounds off of Coley. It'll be sandwich ball. Christian McDuffie steps out as Aaliyah Brito checks in for Brockton High. Gendro from three for three for a sandwich. No good. Brockton with the rebound. 424 left to go in the first half. Brockton trailing by one, 13 to 12. Just one point scored here in the second quarter for Brockton. Eight points scored here in the second quarter for Sandwich as Chanel Melton puts it off the glass and in, giving Brockton back the lead 14 to 13. Sandwich down low. They retake the lead just as quickly. That's number 24, Alyssa Buttrick off the glass. And in 15 to 14, you score Blue Knights on top. Melton with the ball now for Brockton. Gives it over to Coley. Coley with the short jumper. In and out, no good. Rebounded by Sandwich. That's number 14, Megan Harden. She almost loses the ball and does lose the ball to Brockton. Good defensive play by number 23 for the box. Chantel Jordan gets it over to Melton off the glass. And in Brockton leads 16 to 15. Three minutes and 33 seconds to go. Gendro charges to the hole. And we are going to have a 
foul called on Chanel Melton for Brock Nye. I meant charging to the hole as in driving to the hole. No charge called on Gendrew. That'll be a defensive foul on Brockton. 3.32 left to go in the half. And Aaron Gendrew, who we thought was going to be at the line, apparently will not be at the line. It is not a shooting foul. It is going to be a foul where Samuels will inbound from underneath. And their team is lining up way outside. No one inside. And that was unique. Didn't quite work out for them as they tried to inbound the ball to number 24, Alyssa Buttrick, and Coley for Brockton just knocked it out. Dominique Coley, really making her presence felt defensively on the floor. This time she is going to be fouled for her efforts, or she is going to foul for her efforts, and this will be against number 24, Alyssa Buttrick. And with that being the seventh team foul against Brockton here in the first half, it will be a one-on-one -on -one situation as Alyssa Buttrick heads to the free throw line for her first time tonight. Three for four shooting free throw shots is sandwiched collectively as a team. See if Buttrick can keep that percentage up. No, she cannot. She misses Coley with the rebound. And it is Chanel Melton bringing the ball up the floor. And that's going to be out of bounds. Melton try to get it over to Alicia Rosario. And we are going to see Carissa Pagan check into the game for Brockton as Alicia Rosario takes a rest. 3.16 on the clock. Shot clock expires as a foul is called on Sandwiches number four, Julia Goins. And this will allow Chanel, Chantel Jordan to head to the free throw line for the second time tonight. She is one for two, shooting 50% at the free throw line. Looking to significantly up her free throw shooting percentage here and uh, she'll fail to do so. Brockton still on top 16 to 15, however, 2.58 to go as number 30 for Brockton takes a rest. Leah Brito as Christian McDuffie checks back into the game. Excuse me. Yes, that was McDuffie. And Brockton's flaws at the free throw line continue. Nice hustle by Chantel George. Steps out of bounds playing the ball, and Sandwich will retain possession. Foul called on Brockton's number 10, Carissa Pagan. And Sandwich will be heading to the free throw line once again. This is number 14, Megan Harden. And she misses her first attempt at the free throw line this trip. So that makes her two for three at the line here this evening. Megan Harden looking to tie the game back up for the Sandwich Blue Knights. And she will fail to do so. Rebounded by Coley for Brockton, gets it over to Melton. Melton over to McDuffie, McDuffie to Pagan. Pagan inside the paints, puts it up, no good. Rebounded by Sandwich. Harden with the ball now, surrounded by white shirts. Can she even get a layup off? No, she can't. Brockton is going to steal it away. And it's Melton with the ball. Stops, shoots, no good. Brockton with the rebound. Melton with the rebound, puts it up, no good. A sandwich player did get a hand on a good defensive play by the Blue Knights. 2.10 left to go on the clock. Harden with the ball at the opposite side of the floor for Sandwich. Gets it over to number 24, Buttrick. Buttrick loses it into the hands of Gendro. Sandwich, Blue Knights still with the basketball. Over to Goins for three. 
no good. Rebounded by Harden off the glass and in. And the Blue Knights once again have the lead, 17 to 16. One minute and 50 seconds left to go in the opening half. Just five points scored here in the second quarter for Brockton. Shot clock dwindling down, and Chantel Jordan connects for three for Brockton. Brockton on top now, 19-17. A buck 15 left to go in the half. And ill-advised pass by Brockton leads to a turnover. And down low, all alone was Gendro. No good. Sandwich with the rebound. Putting it up. No good. Harden with the rebound. And she's going to draw a foul. She'll be going to the line. And that foul is going to be on number 33 for Brockton, Christian McDuffie. And Megan Harden, who is two for four at the line tonight, heads to the free throw line for her third appearance tonight and she has an opportunity to tie the game and she's one shot away from doing just that as score now 19 to 18 in favor of Brockton as number 22 Jennifer Caruso checks into the game for Brockton as Chantel Jordan takes a breather and Harden two for two at the line this attempt ties the game at 19 Sandwich wants to go into the half of the lead, however. Jennifer Caruso picks up the ball for Brockton, though. Gets it over to Pagan. Pagan to Caruso. Caruso puts it up. No good. Sandwich with the rebound. That is number three, Gendra, with the ball. 22 seconds to go. Coley with the rebound for Brockton. Jump ball called, and... Possession arrow in favor of the Sandwich Blue Knights. With the score tied, 19-19, 10.8 seconds remaining in the half. The Sandwich Blue Knights will get the ball as an inbound from underneath the basket. And on the inbound, Sandwich really has not been able to penetrate the fine defensive play of Brockton's Dominique Coley. She's been there to knock every inbound back out of bounds. The only success Sandwich has had is once they drew a foul from her. And the ball is going to hit the top of the backboard. And that stops the clock with two seconds to go as it goes out of bounds from a technical standpoint. Brockton with the ball. The game tied. Two seconds to go to McDuffie. Has to get the shot off quick. Shoots. No good. And the first half comes to a conclusion. And after a dominant first quarter for the Brockton Boxers, they are now tied up at 19 with the Sandwich Blue Knights. You're watching Brockton Community Access Sports. 19 to 19 is your score between Brockton, Lady Boxes, and the Sandwich Blue Knights at the half. We'll step aside for a quick breather. Second half action when we return. What's up? Uh, I don't know. I'm missing a go. Hammer call right now. No, we can't hear on that. He can. I'm calling Paul right now. 
right, thanks, bud. Three, two, one. And we return for second half action between the Brockton Lindy Boxers and the Sandwich Blue Knights. We're all tied up at 19 as we enter the second half. Peter Zimmer still here with you calling the action now. Joined by my broadcast partner, Nubi Ruto. Nubi, glad to have you here for second half action. Brockton with a very dominant first quarter, allowing Sandwich to creep back into the game towards the beginning of the second quarter and all tied up as we enter the second half. That is Megan Harden with the ball right now for Sandwich. Gets it over to Gendrew. Gendrew for three, no good. Rebounded, or almost rebounded by number five for Sandwich, Kylie Dolan off of Dolan's fingertips. And that will be Brockton ball. And it looks like Alicia Rosario is awaiting the inbounder for Brockton. Seven minutes and 14 seconds left to go in the third quarter. We're still tied at 19. Newby, with this being the first game of the season, still getting acclimated to some of these new faces on this Brockton Lady Boxers squad. Good defense by number 24 for Sandwich, Alyssa Buttrick, though there might be a foul called on Sandwich, perhaps due to her efforts. But Newby, yep. what do you think of this? what we've seen from this Brockton Lady Boxers squad thus far from what you've seen tonight in relation to well, your, prognos I, your prognostications for their future here. And, you know, I, and I, I just want to apologize to the viewers. You are talking to me last time my car switch um, was on, so I'm pretty sure the viewers didn't hear what I was saying. <laughs> but um, I am here. I am back. It's going to be back like for, I was talking to myself. Yeah, you probably were talking to yourself. <laughs> but um, so far, Peter, this is the first quarter of the season. You know, this is the first quarter of the season. The first quarter of the season, I like to break the season down into quarters every four games. You're trying to find your identity in the first in the first quarter of the season. Try to find who you are, what type of offensive rhythm, what type of defensive mentality you're going to have. And that's what this, today's game is all about. So I'm not going to read too much to how this team's playing. It's all about finding your identity. But that mentality right there, Peter, that tenacity of going to the basket and being aggressive is what the Brock and Boss need to do. It seems like initially they don't have a great outside shooting team. But if they can be aggressive and go to the basket, create contact, create fouls, like Chanel Melton just did, that's how they win basketball games, by being more physical. they got to out-physical teams. Elizabeth Buttrick for Sandwich with her, first, her third personal foul of the evening. Chanel Melton heads to the line, and she makes her first attempt at the free throw line. Brockton struggling from the free throw line in the first half. They now take the lead with the free throw shot. 22-19, and Melton goes two for two at the line on this attempt. Brockton on top, 21-19. Six minutes and 42 seconds left to go in the third quarter. Oh, what a move right there. You know, before this game, Peter, I actually, um, we're just uh, on YouTube, just look up a few basketball videos, and I, I just thought of a... One of the great, great post players of all time, the dream Hakeem Olajuwon. Um, I got to tell you what, I don't think he gets the credit of being a fantastic center, dominant center in the NBA, Hakeem Olajuwon. And we saw one of those post moves right there, but one of the players just a little, uh, you know, a little up, up and under right there. And Hakeem Olajuwon made so famous back in his heyday. Hakeem Olajuwon, one of the best players in NBA history. Coley with the rebound for Brockton. Melton with the ball. Gets it over to McDuffie. McDuffie out to Melton. Melton looked like she was going to stop and shoot. Ops not to. Gets it over to McDuffie. McDuffie over to Rosario. Rosario to Melton. 14 seconds left in the shot clock. 6.16 on the game clock. Brockton gets a shot off. No good. Sandwich with the rebound. It is Megan Harden with the ball for the Blue Knights. No good by Sandwich, Brockton with the rebound, and Brockton, good job passing down low, but ultimately they get caught up in things. Out of bounds, off Sandwich, Brockton ball. You know, my fondest memory of Hakeem Olajuwon would have to be the Houston Rockets team of the early 90s that did defeat the Orlando Magic, featuring a rookie version of your favorite NBA player of all time, Shaquille O'Neal. Well, you know, the reason why I respect Hakeem Olajuwon so much is because my favorite player of all time, Shaquille O'Neal, respects him so much. 
So if, if the most dominant player in the history of the game expects uh, someone like Hakeem Olajuwon, then he gets my automatic kudos. But Peter, it seems like, you know, during, um, I'd say, second quarter on, prior to midway through the third quarter, it brought the box really had a tough time um, going to the basket and, and finishing. I mean, they're, they're definitely finding a way to get to the basket, but they got to finish strong. And um, Jordan takes a spill. Looks like she's just going to shake it off. Tough player. One of the best athletes in Brockton High School. Um, and we have a foul called on Brockton's number 23, Chantel Jordan, as Sandwich inbounds the ball. That's Gendro. And that was nearly picked off by Chanel Melton for the boxers. 5.29 left to go in the third quarter. 21-19, you score Brockton on top. Low scoring second half up to this point. Harden trying to drive to the hole for Sandwich, and she will be fouled by number 33 for the Lady Boxers, Christian McDuffie, and we will see Megan Harden head to the line where she is four for six tonight. This will be her fourth trip to the free throw line for Miss Harden. If you're melted right there on that drive to the basket as an interior defensive player, you got to step up. I'm not a big fan of players. Uh, I know this tends to happen a lot where players just kind of put their hands up. And then and wait for the contact to come to them. You have to step up. You have to step up and contest that shot a little more, um, and, and and try to contain that basket. Harden with the ball. Moving screen right there on the, on the on the Blue Knights. Five oh five on the clock here in the third. Pagan with the basketball for Brockton. Almost loses it. Gets it over to Chanel Melton. Melton tries to get it inside to Dominique Coley. Picked off by Megan Harden for the Blue Knights. Gets it over to number 11, Leah Adams. Outside to Julia Goins to Harden. And Harden's layup attempt, no good. Gets it over to, it'll be Brockton rebound. Melton with the Peter, ball you got to push that. They had a full on three right there. You got to push that basketball, Peter. I'm sorry for interrupting, but uh, they had a full on three right there. Those opportunities, you got to take advantage on the fast break. You got to push the basketball. Melton over to Pagan. Pagan looking for help. Over to Melton, and Melton unable to accept the pass. It goes out of bounds. It'll be sandwich ball. Turnovers, Peter, and um, you know, Brockton really had a golden opportunity right there, Peter, to they had a full on two to really uh, make hay and, and, and definitely um, get an easy transition basket right there. You gotta take advantage of those. This game's a little too close for um for my comfort right now. Uh, well, as we reach the midway point of the third quarter, here in the second half, Brockton has outscored Sandwich two to one. Literally, three points combined scored by each team here in the second half thus far with 3.58 remaining in the third quarter as Sandwich heads to the line. Foul called on Brockton, and this will be number 11 for Sandwich at the line, Leah Adams, and I believe that was on number 23, Chantel Jordan. And Adams one for two at the line. Tie game at 21, 3.53 left to go here in the third. Right 
And we have a timeout called by April Dingwell, head coach for the Brockton Lady Boxers. 21 to 21 is your score. Three minutes and 33 seconds left to go in the third quarter. April Dingwell, first year head coach for the Brockton Lady Boxers. We say that with a little bit of an asterisk because she has been the JV coach for quite some time. Also was the interim head coach for the Lady Boxers yes. squad two years ago when then head coach Eric DiBiase was out with a leg injury. April Dingwell, a member of the Brockton High coaching staff who has certainly paid her dues in order to get to this point coaching the varsity squad as the head coach. And uh, certainly nice to see her getting her opportunity here in the 2011-2012 season. I think it's a well-deserved newbie. Oh, definitely. She definitely uh, worked her way up the ranks. Um, as, as well as the rest of her whole coaching staff, actually, uh, with, with David Ray and Stephanie Savage. Stephanie Savage is actually a, a play right here on, you know, on a 2003 basketball team. So, you know, all the coaching uh, April as well, the rest of the coaching staff is really familiar with what with, with Brockton basketball is all about. So uh, I'm definitely happy to see her with the opportunity to coach the team. Having said that, um, just on this game itself, 21-21, it's time for Brockton to step up right now. It's time for Brockton to step up, put on a run, go into the, go into the fourth quarter. You want to send a statement going to the last quarter right now and uh, really put on a run. But again, you gotta over, you got to look at the bigger picture, take this game to grain of salt. It's the first quarter of the season, metaphorically speaking, first four games, first quarter of the season. You want to see um, what type of identity you're going to have. Carissa Pegg in for three for Brockton. No good. She gets her own rebound, puts it up. No good. Rebounded by Sandwich. This time it's Leah Adams, number 11. Aaron Gendrew with the ball for the Blue Knights. Almost loses it out of bounds. It'll be sandwich ball. I believe that was popped out by number 23 for Brockton, Chantel Jordan. Still tied at 21. Three minutes to go in the third. Peter Zimborn, Nubi Rateau here calling the action for BCA Sports. And we're going to have a pushing call on number 23 for Brockton, Chantel Jordan. And... That is her third personal foul of the evening for Miss Jordan. And that sends Gendrew to the line for the first time tonight where she misses her first of two. Some substitutions for Brockton as Pagan and Jordan take a breather. It looks like Rosario checks back in along with McDuffie. And Gendrew hits her second of two. So for the first time in the second half, the Sandwich Blue Knights have the lead, 22 to 21, with two minutes and 59 seconds left to go in the third quarter. Competitive basketball game thus far. McDuffie with the ball for Brockton. She might take this one in on her own and does just that. Christian McDuffie with her first points of the night. Brockton retakes the lead, 23-22. 2.35 remaining in the third quarter. Three-point attempt oh. by Sandwich, and I believe Christian McDuffie is going to make contact with the shooter number 10 for Sandwich, Aaron Hurley. So I think Aaron Hurley is going to head to the line now to shoot three since that foul took place outside of the perimeter. Fundamental rules, section one, part one, ordinance 1.1. 1 .1. First rule in the rule book. You don't follow a jump shooter. You memorize this rule book extensively, it seems, newbie. Yeah, the rule book's uh, it's a pretty big rule book, but I've memorized every one. Um, and section 2, ordinance 5, section uh, 3.5 is don't mock the color commentator. That was another one. So, just FYI. <laughs> Hurley misses her first attempt at the free throw line. Second attempt, she misses. I think Dominique Coley forgot that it was... She was shooting three as she rushed out for the rebound as she missed her second free throw attempt early. Well, Hurley will make her third attempt and that ties the game at 23. So 23-23, your score. Two minutes and 31 seconds remaining in the third quarter between Brockton and Sandwich.
I'm very impressed with Sandwich um, in this game. Typically, um, just historically, Broncos really had their way against Sandwich. And um, Sandwich is definitely um, more than just competitive. Springsteed with the ball for Brockton, gets it over to Rosario. To Melton. Melton back to Rosario. And the corner was looking to get to Springsteed just out of her reach and out of bounds. And these are unforced turnovers right here, Peter. And we're going to have a foul called on number 34 for Brockton, Alicia Rosario, for reaching. That'll be the seventh team foul for Brockton here in the second half. And with just under 10 minutes of basketball to play in total, this is going to be a big opportunity for the Sandwich Blue Knights, who only have two team fouls, to really get an edge on Brockton at the free throw line. And once again, shooting free throws, it'll be number 10, Aaron Hurley. Makes her first attempt. She'll get another. After missing her first two free throws tonight, she's now hit two in a row, Hurley. And 24-23 Sandwich does have the one-point edge at the moment. And it'll stay that way as Hurley misses that free throw shot. 2.04 left to go in the third quarter. 24-23 Sandwich on top. Free throws could be big here, newbie. Free throws are huge. That, that could. They're huge right now. The game changes Peter right now. Chanel Melton with the ball, and she's going to draw a foul. And that is going to be a number four for Sandwich, Julia Goins. Chanel Melton, two for three at the free throw line tonight. She'll be shooting two here. Makes her first of two at this strip. Tie game at 24, buck 54 on the clock here in the third quarter. Melton misses. Brockton gets the rebound. Springsteed with the ball over to Rosario. Over to Melton. Melton back to Rosario. Outside the perimeter is Rosario. 14 seconds on the shot clock. Inside to Melton, even further inside to Coley, outside to Springsteed, five seconds on the shot clock, shoots no good, rebounded by Sandwich. Good passing right there by the Brockton Boxers. Um, definitely had the right mentality, just the execution wasn't right, but uh, I, I like the passing though. And Chanel Melton, Count the basket, and she draws the foul. She'll be heading to the line to shoot one. That is on, I believe, number 20 for Sandwich. It is a number 20, Julia Sullivan. Chanel Melton having a phenomenal opening game of the season here tonight. Brockton on top, 26-24. Make that 27-24 with 107 left to go in the third. 18 points tonight for Chanel Melton. Not bad, not bad. <laughs> not bad at all, Peter. She's really keeping them in this game. Chanel Melton has actually scored about three-fourths of their points. She scored more than... Two thirds, even better. Yeah, whatever. I'm not a math guy. He scored a lot of points. <laughs> <laughs> not a math guy either, but yeah, a lot whatever. of points. Carissa Pagan checks Boy, into the, the game as Dominic Coley checks out. And it looks like Rosario checks out of the game as well as we see Catherine Lewis re enter the game for the first time in the second half. Less than a minute to go here in the third quarter. Megan Harden is at the free throw line, and she connects. One point game, Brockton up 27-26. Chanel Melton up no good. 
Brockton with the rebound, up and in. That is number 30 for Brockton, Aliyah Brito with their first bucket of the game, 29-26 Brockton with the lead. Number five, Kylie Dolan with the ball, looking for some help, gets it over to number 24, Alyssa Buttrick. Ultimately gets it over to number 10, Aaron Hurley. I believe that's gonna be traveling. No, we're gonna have a personal foul call on Brockton. No, none of the above. Timeout called by the Sandwich Blue Knights and their head coach, Chris Gendrew. 33.6 seconds left to go in the third quarter. Brockton with a three-point edge, 29-26 to 26 is your score. You're watching BCA Sports, opening game of the 2011-2012 to 2012 Lady Boxers season. You know, I'm impressed with the Brockton Boxers past few minutes. Definitely a um, little, little more aggressive on the uh, offensive boards, getting second chance opportunities. Chanel Melton definitely keeps the Brockton Boxers in this game. She has, what, what, 20 points now, 18 points or so? Uh, you know, definitely doing a good job keeping the boxes in the game, but I'm very happy with the boxes in the past few minutes because they've really had a chance to get offensive boards and second chance opportunities, which is the reason why they have a three point lead right now. Good crowd here so far. I'm very happy to see a, a, a pretty decent crowd for the first game of the season. It's always fun to cover basketball, number one, because it's warmer inside than it is football season. You don't have to worry about bringing out gloves and, and three layers of clothes. And that is number five for Sandwich Kylie Dolan, getting her team back within one, 29-28. Under 20 seconds to go on the third quarter, Spring Seed with the ball for Brockton. She puts it up on her own, no good. And that was Brito vying for the rebound for Brockton. Ultimately ends up in the hands of Peg and shoots no good. Rebounded by number 24 for Sandwich Buttrick. Three seconds to go. And Sandwich just gonna get a shot off. Just the off buzzer the sounds ending the third quarter and Brockton with a one point lead, 29 to 28. Very competitive game as we head into the home stretch, newbie. Home stretch, Peter. Home stretch, this is where it's all about right here. I know it's the first game of the season, but this is a big test right now for the Brockton Boxers. It's a good test, it's a close game. You know, these are the type of things you're gonna get into towards the latter parts of, of, of the season and hopefully into the playoffs. So it's a good test right now for the Brockton Boxers. What type of mental toughness are you gonna have? It's not about basketball no more, it's about mental toughness in the fourth quarter. The first three quarters are about basketball. Fourth quarter is no longer about basketball. It's about how mentally tough you are, how hard you work during the offseason, how hard you work during the summertime. That's what it's all about, Peter. It's about limiting turnovers. It's about making free throws. It's about leadership. Glad to see basketball back on the BCA airwaves, newbie. Great to see basketball back in general, the professional level and here at the oh, high school level. My goodness, Peter. When I heard the NBA is going to be back on Christmas, I almost cried. I really almost did. I was so happy. Not because basketball is back. It's because I'm going to see my idol, Shaquille O'Neal, on TNT every Thursday, which I'm pretty pumped about. So the Shaq uh, appearance in the NBA is never finished. Do you like the promotional advertising they've been airing in preparation for Shaquille O'Neal's TNT de debut? Hey, Peter, I'll tell you what, I have not watched any um, promotional things on, on TNT because I'm going to prepare myself for the actual first game of the season. I don't want to watch any promotional stuff. I just want to watch the game. I haven't watched too much ESPN. All I know is it's games on Christmas. That's all I need to know. Shaquille O'Neal singing The Temptations. That's all I'll say about the advertising. Just my imagination. No, it's uh, Get Ready, because here I come. How's that song go? Get ready, because here I come. OK, yes, I did hear that song. <laughs> I don't know if just my imagination would work in relation to the NBA. Away, away from me. Oh boy. Every night on my knees. I don't know I if pray. I like this. All right, I'm gonna stop. <laughs> I'm pretty sure our, our director Paul is happy he can't talk back to us on our headsets. That's true. He because he'd be screaming right now. We were spared his comments due to our technical difficulties. <laughs> Seven minutes and 34 seconds left to go in the game. Brockton up 29 to 28. Sandwich with the ball. It's Megan Harden with the ball for the Blue Knights. Newbie, I mentioned in the first half prior to you joining me here at the broadcast table, the best 
sporting event I have ever called from a competitive standpoint took place last year in Sandwich, Massachusetts in a Division Three playoff basketball game between Cardinal Spellman and Martha's Vineyard. You do call that game alongside me, newbie. How phenomenal was that, that triple overtime game? It really was the best game I ever covered in my life. Um, best game, not just covered, just seen him and, um, with my own two eyes. Um, it was awesome. It was Division Four. When you think of Division Four, you know, you don't think of real competitive basketball. But uh, wow, that was really, really a joy to watch. Um, Rosario lays it up and in for Brockton, but Gendro brings it back for Sandwich, 31 to 30, Brockton on top. But that's what I think of every time I think of Sandwich. Yes, I agree. And Sandwiches. And our cameraman Aaron Tebow got married in Sandwich. It was a nice wedding held earlier this year. I gotta tell you and what. And we're gonna have a foul. What was that all about, Peter? Um, you know. That's going to be a number 33 for Brockton, Christian McDuffie. You got to contest that shot a little better. Um, I'm having a tough time to see what that follow was all about. It almost seemed intentional rather than, uh, you know, ma making a play on the ball. So one point game for Brockton, but Sam is going to have an opportunity to tie it up. And they do just that as Gendro makes her first free throw attempt because they are in the bonus they will get another so sandwich with an opportunity to take the lead with six minutes and 36 seconds left to go in the game Aaron Gendrew at the line and the Blue Knights have the lead 34 or excuse me 32 31 with 634 to go Gendrew back at the line and extending Sandwich's lead to two points as that foul call in Brockton's 34, Alicia Rosario. That's her third personal foul of the night. And Gendrew really finding a rhythm at the free throw line here in the second half. 34-31, Sandwich with the lead. And we're going to have a reach in foul on the Blue Knights, number 21, Sydney Miller. Rita will inbound for Brock and gets it into Rosario. Almost had a reaching foul, I think. Could have been called on Gendry just in front of us. No call was made. Springsteed with the ball for Brockton. Lays it up and in. Oh, that was beautiful right there. Right down the lane. Springsteed with the ball for Brockton. Gets it over to Rosario. Over to Jordan. Jordan off the glass. No good. Nice to Chantel Jordan with the last name Jordan. Where's the number 23 newbie? Yes, I agree, Peter. It's a lot of pressure um, knowing that your last name is Jordan. And knowing that your number is 23, it's a, it's a lot of pressure on her play, but I assume that's what she wanted. I assume that's what she wanted as well. Oh, what a great press put on by the Blue Knights right now. Brock is having a tough time. Box is having a tough time right now getting um, one stop and getting defense aboard. Too many second chance opportunities for the Blue Knights. Yes. 
And Sandwich having some success here late in the game. Butrick puts it in for two, and the Blue Knights have a 36-33 lead with five minutes to go in the game. Coley down low for Brockton, no good. Rebounded by the Lady Boxers off the glass and in. That is Brito, and we have a one-point game, 36-35, and we're going to have a call by our official. That's going to be on number 12, I believe. It'll be on Sharon Springsteed for Brockton, and that'll send the Sandwich Blue Knights back to the free throw line. Free throws huge with them in this bonus situation, the Blue Knights. Peter, here on out, we're in a bonus situation right now. Um, this is what it's all about. It's going to be big for the Brockton Boxers to really um, play smart basketball. You know, you want to be aggressive, but these are now automatic free throw situations for the Blue Knights. Aaron Gendrew has hit six consecutive free throw shots as the Blue Knights have a two-point edge, 37-35, 4.49 to go. And make that 38-35 as she makes yet another free throw. Boxers have to make some stops right now. They got to make some stops. They can't trade baskets. Another earned force turnover right there. This is the time for the Brockton Boxers to really buckle down right now. A good test early on the season on mental toughness. They got to buckle down and get some defensive stops. Having a tough time staying in front of the, uh, in front of the players. Brockton defense has got to help out on that one, Peter. Um, Brockton's having a tough time, number one, staying in front of the play on, on defense. And number two, once that play passes by and enters the interior of the court, the defense is not collapsing in the interior to help out. you got to you got to collapse in, and, and the help is coming too late. They're down by only three points right now, but the way the offense of um, the offense by Brockton is operating, three points is more like, you know, seven to eight points with four minutes left. Kendrew getting it down at the line again. 39-35, your score. Sandwich on top. Brockton still in the hunt, however. Christian McDuffie puts it off the glass for two. Two-point game, 39-37. Brockton trailing, 419 left to go. Gendrew with the ball for the Blue Knights. She's going to try to take it in on her own. Dishes it to the outside to number 21, Miller. And travel called on Sandwich. Brockton ball. Brockton now with an opportunity to tie this game, newbie. There it is, Peter. Here it is, laid out right on the platter. Right there, you gotta take him right now. You gotta take this. Melton with the basketball for Brockton. Over to Springsteed. Springsteed tries to get it down low to number 30. Brito, however, that off the fingertips of a sandwich player. Brockton will inbound the ball from underneath. Peter, one thing about this press that the, the, the Blue Knights are putting on right now, they are forcing you to have cross-court passes. Someone's got to go on the inside to limit these cross-court passes because that's what's causing the turnovers right now. Genju with the ball for the Blue Knights. Almost loses it and does lose it. Chanel Melton comes up with the basketball for Brockton. Melton going to take it on her own. Up, no good. Gets the rebound or has to fight for the rebound. Ultimately, the Blue Knights come up with it. And yeah, Melton's got to look up and pass that basketball. She had a, it was a, about two on four opportunity right there. Um, you, had, you had a play open in the interior. She probably looked to pass that ball rather, rather than force the shot. Foul I know called. she's been hot right now, but you got to look to pass. Foul called on Buttrick for the Sandwich Blue Knights. That's her fourth personal foul of the evening. She is one away from fouling out. Megan Harden, four-point game once again, sandwich up 41-37, whistle blown, and we have a foul called on Megan Harden for the Blue Knights, so Brockton will take it from the outside. Actually, that being the seventh team foul of the second half for sandwich, I believe this will be a shooting situation for Brockton, I believe. And it will be. And shooting those foul shots for Brockton will be number 33, Christian McDuffie. She makes one, she gets another. 
as we're going to see Brito take a breather for Brockton as Elise Rosario checks back into the game. And Rosario misses what will be her only free throw attempt. Ball out of bounds off of Sandwich. Brockton ball, 3.02 left to go in the game. Brockton trailing by four, 41 to 37. And timeout called by the Sandwich Blue Knights. Head coach Chris Gendrew. Two minutes and 49 seconds left to go in the game. The Sandwich Blue Knights lead over the Brockton Boxers 41 to 37. And what appeared to be an easy win and an easy game for Brockton through the first quarter of this game has proven to be a very competitive outing. Brockton, their backs up against the wall as they trail by four with 249 left to go in the game. That's why they play four quarters instead of one, newbie. Exactly. Axel Brown James, he knows all about falling apart in the fourth <laughs> quarter. Give him a dollar, he'll give you back three quarters. Anywho, uh, that's a little LeBron James jab. Um, <laughs> i got to tell you what, Peter. Um, I'm, I'm happy right now Brockton's in, in this close game. I'm, I'm very happy because it's a good test. It's a good test. I, I mean, win or lose, Brockton Box are definitely going to learn from this game. I do think Brockton Boxers have the ability to pull this game out, and I believe they will win. But having said that, it's a good test for the Brockton Boxers uh, to see where kind of where they are right now. I see their flaws. Their flaws are number one. They have a tough time boxing out and getting a rebound. They got to improve on that. Number two, first turno forced turnovers. However, the good thing about this is those are all things you can improve on. I see a lot of positive things and the stuff that are negative. You can improve on those. Harden with the layup for the Blue Knights. Six point game for Sandwich. The biggest lead of the night for Sandwich. Rocked in for three, Rosario, yes. Second three-pointer of the night, eight points tonight for Rosario, three-point game. That's how you cut the lead in half, but Megan I gotta Harden, tell you what, Peter. she's pushed from behind by Brockton Chantel Jordan. I gotta tell you what, Peter, I'm, I'm very frustrated right now because Brockton, You're folding your paper feverishly. <laughs> yes, because Brockton right now is not, they need to assign who they're gonna have defensively. There's too many defensive lapses right now where no one knows who they're going to cover, and that leaves these open transition opportunities for the Blue Knights. Um, that's going to be the story of the game, Peter, is, you know, Brox is having these defensive laps uh, on, 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 the, on that side of the basketball. Just not knowing, just simply not knowing which player has who. Megan Harden makes it a five-point game with their free throw efforts, 45-40, sandwich on top. Two minutes to go. Megan Harden, 18 points tonight. She is playing phenomenally for the Blue Knights. Buck 55 left to go in the game. Brockton having to pull something out. Coley with the rebound, no good. Rebounded by McDuffie, puts it off the glass and in. Three point game. Transition Sandwich defense, the lead. Peter. It's all about transition defense right now. So timeout called by Sandwich. One minute, 20 seconds left to go in the game. Sandwich with a five-point lead over Brockton, 47 to 42. And Brockton facing some adversity in their first game of the season. Yeah, um, you know, but th that, that's the nature of the game. That, that's what makes the game so great is adversity. Um, Brockton has a lot of work to do. But like I said, the work that they need to do is something that 
let me give an example. If, if I were to say Brockton is not a is not a, a good shooting team, that's something that kind of you, you know you you might need a change of players or, or so forth. The problems are turnovers, um, defensive rebounding. Those are fundamental things. Those are things you can improve on during the season. You know you can work on your boxing out throughout the whole season. You can work on uh, you know things like limiting turnovers. That, that's just mental focus right there. So I mean, it's, there's, there's pluses and minuses and pros and cons to it. But again, this is a good test for the Brockton boxes. But you know, um, they may not pull out this victory. Brockton has not ended any quarter of this game trailing. They do not want to end the fourth quarter of this game losing. 47-42, your score. Sandwich on top. One minute, 17 seconds with the clock ticking to go in this game. Genger with the ball for Sandwich. Puts it up and in. Everything's just going right for Sandwich right now. One minute to go in this game. Rosario, she'll shoot the three. No good. Rebounded by Gendrew for the Blue Knights. 50 seconds to go in the game. Now you gotta stop following right now, Peter. McDuffie with the ball for Brockton. Gets it over to Jordan, no good. Brockton maintains possession of the ball. Rosario with the ball. 36 you, seconds to go in the you game. You gotta launch shoes right now. You gotta launch them. You gotta launch some threes right now. You gotta start launching. You have to launch. It is three-point launch out. Yes. And we have a timeout called by head coach April Dingwell for the Brockton Lady Boxers. 26.1 seconds remaining in the game. Brockton trailing sandwich by a score of 49 to 42. Yeah, now it's launch threes. And that's the, uh, that's the... Well, if they would hit two three-pointers, that would get them within one point. So it's at least a three possession ball game for Brockton with just 26 seconds to work with. Uphill battle indeed for Brockton. If you're Brockton right now, you gotta stop following. Um, put some, you know, put initial press on, try to get a quick turnover or so, but right now you, you gotta stop following whenever Sandwich has the basketball. Coley underneath. No fouls, no fouls, blue, together. Outside to Melton, she'll shoot the three. No good, less than 10 seconds to go in the game now. Ball goes out of bounds with 7.8 seconds remaining in the game. And it appears that Brockton is gonna begin the 2011-2012 season, newbie 0-1. Easy, easy, go ahead. Brockton intentionally fouling, but Nothing quite comes of it, and it looks like Alyssa Buttrick sneaks in an extra point towards the end of the game. So your final score from Staff Gymnasium in the opening game of the season, the Lady Boxers lose to the Sandwich Blue Knights by a score of 51 to 42. Good job by the Sandwich Blue Knights of weathering the early storm and coming away with this victory tonight. Brockton, despite losing, we did see some positive things from this team tonight. Uh, Chanel Melton, that kid can play, newbie. Yeah, uh, definitely some positive things uh, about the Brockton Box. I'm very excited, you know, that the Brockton Box had a chance to have a, a tough, um, close game to kind of, you know, kind of see what, you know, what, what, what type of intensity you're going to see towards the latter, latter parts of the season and hopefully into the playoffs. It's a good test for the Brockton Boxes. First loss, have a chance to rebuild. A few things I like, you know, I think Chanel Melton is going to be a star. Um, this season for the Brock the Boxers, Chantel Jordan uh, definitely showing some sparks. And, you know, this, they need to prove on um, just mental focus, things like limiting turnovers. But the big thing is they need to limit um, second chance opportunities. The fundamental reason to do that is um, work on their boxing out. I think if they do that, then we should have a pretty good season. I'm excited. Well, an early setback for the Brock and Lady Boxers as they lose their opener to the Sandwich Blue Knights by a score of 51 to 42. For everyone here at Brockton Community Access, my colleague, Nubi Rateau, I'm Peter Zimbor. We'll see you next time. Thanks for joining us.